Leandro, um, nice to see you. Nice to speak to you. Um, it's been a very tough time for everybody really recently, but how has lockdown been for you? Yeah, I think pretty similar to uh, the other people, just like do it, try to do my stuff, to, to get a run on the bike, uh, playing with my kids and yeah, just with my, with my family a little bit. Because you've got a new family, you got married, you've got a young kid. I mean, it must be difficult. You want to spend time with them, but I'm sure you'd be loving to play, preferring to play football as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's it's a long time already. Now you're you're missing the football. It's yeah, it's our work as well. It's our hobby. You you like it. It's fun and yeah, and it, it has been never like this before. So suddenly you you just quit football and I think everyone is missing it and uh, me uh, me as well. It's yeah, it's a strange time at the moment. You mentioned the fitness side of things. Have you eased it down a little bit? Uh, I know you were doing group Zoom chat uh, sessions, um, or are you just trying to maintain as much uh, strength and conditioning as you can? Yeah, me personally, I try to yeah to run as much as possible and be on the bike. So I I can because it's it's now it's a time if you do not do much, it's um, you have more risk to get injured if you're back in training and anything. So I don't want to. I try to have this risk as uh, low as possible to do as much as I can at the moment. Is there anything you can, else you can do um, in terms of skills, drills, anything particular that you particularly want to work on? Yeah, it's difficult uh, to be honest. To I tried to just a little bit with the ball, some yeah, just to have the feeling a little bit that it doesn't fade away. But yeah, it's hard to yeah to exercise the things what you are doing in training or in, in games. So that thing is hard. But I think it, uh, we have also a preparation before it will start again, and uh, I think we have time enough to yeah to get back at it uh, at that moment. Psychologically, how difficult has it been for you? It must be nice to go back to Belgium, but in terms of trying to stay positive mentally? Um, yeah, not too bad, I think. It's like you said, you're, you're with your family, so I try to enjoy that moment as much as I can uh, to, yeah, to enjoy the little things. And I'm just hoping now that uh, football comes back early and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for that. It's... It's not it's not easy to to fill in your days at the moment, but yeah, we try as much as possible. What sort of things have you been doing? Is it a case of watching stuff on TV, playing games? Is there a reading, or are you getting any time with the young uh, young family? How how what things have you been dipping into? Um, yeah, just like I said, I try to run and bike a lot of times. Then Netflix uh, series uh, to watch, uh, playing with the with the cat. Even uh, I try to do you not know, Lego. Or, or yeah. how do you yeah Lego yeah yeah Lego yeah I tried to build some things in that so yeah just to keep busy uh, actually you'll have to send us some photos of the uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, I know it's it's a time where people can reflect some people have and some people haven't um how do you reflect on on your spell at the club so far is it given you a chance to assess how things have gone yeah, I think it's done out pretty well, but yeah, uh, I think we were in a moment, I, it's, like I said, it's always a strange thing to just quit football in in middle of uh, of the season when you are in that kind of moment where it's a lot of pressure and anything around it and yeah, uh, but until now I think it, for me it was, it has been pretty good, but yeah, I wanted to keep going, you know, you, you never know what... Uh, what will happen and then for the month. So, yeah, I'm curious about that as well. Did you feel like you were starting to find your feet mm -hmm. now in the Premier League? Yeah, of course. Um, of, of course, it's always you. You need to adapt a little bit. And the longer it takes, the more you can adapt and learn from circumstances and from some situation that you have in another game and then you can adapt in the, in the next couple of games. And course now it's it's we cannot do it but yeah i'm looking forward to to play again 
when you joined, we talked about the style of play was quite key for you to come. Has it matched what you expected, the way that Graham Potter wanted to play football? Yeah, of course. I think we have shown a lot uh, this season how we 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 play and we want to to keep the ball and um, to try to to get more chances and everything like that. Only maybe in the last part of the of the field we we lagged a little bit of scoring goals and stuff like that maybe. But I think um, the more we we play and the more we train on it, the, the better it will be in the in the future. So I think we. We were not bad, uh, bad playing at the moment when we stopped uh, playing football. So, but yeah, now every, everyone is maybe good in his mind again with a little bit of rest. And yeah, hopefully we can go on uh, further on that uh, if we start playing football again. Because we don't know when it's all going to come back, but there are some massive games still to be played this season. If it if it does return, the likes of Liverpool. Manchester mm-hmm. City, you must be absolutely relishing getting back in, but also playing against those top sides that you know you've been watching over the years. Yeah, of course. It's it's like I said, it's every every game in the Premier in the Premier League is a tough game, but obviously against Man City and Liverpool, the, those games are also it's more a game that we have nothing to lose, and it's I think you you have also more freedom to to play and enjoy the game more, and yeah, then. It's, there are, those are the the games where you're playing for, of course. And uh, yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm looking forward to it again. How have the squad been, uh, Leandro? You know, are you still communicating regularly? Has, has everyone been really together in terms of chatting through problems if people are having down moments and trying to stay in touch with each other? Yeah, of course. We have a group chat, obviously. And uh, I think the lads, they, they speak... Uh, yeah, over in general, over stuff that they they want to speak of, and yeah, I think we have a really good team. Uh, uh, you can tell any everyone uh, if there is a problem, and they will solve it or they will help you to try. And uh, yeah, we have really good lads in the team. So I know it's difficult for the players. It's it's quite difficult for the support supporters as well who are desperate to be at the Amex. Um, have you got any message to the supporters who are patiently waiting to hear news of when football might return? Yeah, just that we are also really uh, eager to, to play again for them, to, to give them those uh, nice feelings again of uh, scoring and try to win, win games and just a little bit, bit more patient and uh, yeah, it will be back soon, hopefully, and uh, then we can enjoy it together. Any tips that you've got for the supporters in terms of keeping themselves busy, or any any special Belgian recipes that they can look <laughs> up online? Come on, you, have you been in the kitchen yet? Come on, you can admit it. No, not really. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the Belgians they love chocolate, obviously, uh, and uh, fries as well. So, but it's not that healthy, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, to keep busy, I th- it's just enjoy the little things at the moment. Uh, do things what you what are uh, in normal life you're never able to. Like maybe guys who are busy with work and anything, maybe they can read a book or, like I said, the the, the little things. Enjoy with your kids the the little moments.